Good evening. Our top story, 500 crores is the amount announced by Mamta Banerjee for a relief fund today for investors of the Sharda Group, many of whom have lost their life savings in the group's JIT funds. Where will that money come from? Well, part of it, Mamta Banerjee says, will come from a new cess on tobacco. The rest, she's not very clear about yet. This announcement came as the Chief Minister herself is under pressure with a letter that NDTV has now accessed, written by Chit Fund Chief Shudip Sen on the 6th of April, just before he went missing. This letter has been sent to the CBI and also now with the West Bengal Chief Minister and the Assam Chief Minister. The letter names two TMC MPs. Shudip Sen claims he was blackmailed by them. It also names a senior Congress Minister from Assam. We'll have more on that. Uh, let's go across now live to Monidipa Banerjee with us details. Uh, Monidipa, the TMC maintains that this letter should not be taken very seriously. We spoke to TMC MP uh, Shinjoy Bose also earlier. They say, look, this is written by a crook. Are we meant to take this seriously? And we, uh, Mamta Banerjee now damage control by announcing a 500 crore relief fund. Will this deflect the political heat on her? You know, I've been talking to a whole lot of Srinambul MPs in the last couple of hours, and here is what they are saying. They are saying this letter is damning. There is no doubt about that. But it damns the non trinamool people. There are a whole lot of names in this letter which are not of the Trinamool. They are of very senior leaders in Delhi and other places. And therefore, the focus will shift from the Trinamool now to the big names coming out of Delhi. That is what Trinamool, many Trinamool leaders are celebrating. But there are others who are saying that there is no way Mamta Banerjee can avert the fact that she is going to come under a scanner because it was in her watch, in her state, that Sh Shudipto Sen flourished. He has named two MPs, Kunal Ghosh and Shinjoy Bose, both of them Rajya Sabha MPs, you know, nominated by Mamta Banerjee a year or so ago, and they have apparently blackmailed Shudipto Sen. So that is, you know, something that Mamta cannot avoid responsibility for, even if she wants to, even as she has. She has been consistently saying there is no connection between the Trinamool and Sharda Group. There is no connection between no, the Trinamool fact, government it, and it, the Sharda Group. She has even defended her MPs. Though, in fact, uh, Moni Deepa, we're going by that because the letter also names a senior Congress minister from Assam. The Assam chief minister said he's ready for a CBI inquiry. It also names, in a sense, uh, by proxy, some senior Congress ministers at that time here. Yet the TMC is not going on the offensive about these ministers and we're not naming them right now because we don't have any independent corroboration of these claims at all. Unlike, of course, uh, the TMC where both the ministers, both those MPs have gone on record talking about their business dealings with uh, the Chit Fund Group and the Sharda Group. Why isn't Mamta Banerjee making the issue of these uh, national leaders and the Congress minister an issue? That's a very good question. There are many in the left who will tell you that at a time when this whole uh, Sahara, uh, Sharda issue, sorry, was snowballing, Mamta was a part of the UPA government. That was, of course, till last year. Why she is not making an issue of it now is a very, very good question. No answers for that at the moment, Sonia. But what Trinamool sources are also telling me is that there is no way Mamta can shirk the responsibility. She is going to come under the scanner. Shinjoy, Kunal, they are small names. But the most important question is that how come Mamta outsourced her government to chit funds? That is where Mamta is going to come under the scanner and will be facing very, very tough questions. Right, uh, Munidipa, thanks so much. But of course, if you stay with us, because the big worry, Alok Pandey also joins me reporting from Kolkata. Alok, the big worry, of course, is that we've already, what about other chit funds in the state? We know uh, we broke yesterday the SEBI letter, which warned that this is just one fund, that there are other chit funds involved. And today we've seen depositors extremely worried in another scheme. Tell us more about that. Well, yes, Sonia, and that scheme is Rose Valley. Now, it, the, the thing with Rose Valley is that today in Durgapur, Many, many investors stood in lines mm -hmm. at Rose Valley offices and asked for their money back because they were worried that their, inv their investments will go the same way as Shada. So everyone in Bengal is now asking, is Rose Valley the next Shada? Now, why is that so? That is because, let me just give a bit of background here. In March, in a Lok Sabha question, the Minister for Corporate Affairs, Sachin Pilot, actually said that out of the seven, three uh, companies against whom complaints were re received for indulging in Ponzi funds in Bengal, 15 were Rose Valley Group companies. At the same time, we also have information that market regulator SEBI tried to stop Rose Valley from getting in investments from people as early as 2011. 
in spite of that rose valley went to various courts and that entire matter is caught up with litigation and rose valley is still taking in money from investors but given that what has happened uh, to the shada group now many in this state many people who have invested much money into rose valley are now wondering if rose valley will also go the same way as shada one thing that we have heard from rose valley is that they have taken out some ads in local newspapers promising investors that they are not going to go the shada way but like you've been saying like we've been reporting everyone in the state very very worried right so let's just uh, listen now to what mamta banerjee said earlier today now she hasn't mentioned these other companies but of course it's coming a political battle because today uh, government sources from the corporate affairs ministry issued a statement saying chit funds uh, fall entirely under the state government and they must take action remember that the tmc has been saying why hasn't the center acted so far let's just hear what mamta banerjee said government er ekhane kono rokomi government er kono इनवॉल्वमेंट नहीं, टोटल टाइम प्राइवेट। गवर्नमेंट टाइम तो टाइम मानुषिक जनों दायित्व लो, जो गवर्नमेंट के निजी टाका थे कि आम्रा पांच सौ कोटि टाका, एक टाइम रिलीफ फंड आम्रा तो इडी कर ची, फॉर स्मॉल एंड मीडियम डिपॉजिटर्स, जरा शॉप भारी इच्छे कोडिंग मानुष, शादरन मानुष, जर्जी Twenty-two people. Key amongst uh, key points that letter includes him saying that he was being blackmailed by two TMC MPs. Sources tell us that that is Shrinjoy Bose and Kunal Ghosh. Uh, Shrinjoy Bose, Rajya Sabha MP of the Trinamool Congress, joins me now. Mr. Bose, your reaction to this letter? Let me quote from what's in that letter. Sh uh, Shridhar Sen has told the CBI in that letter that I was blackmailed by two TMC MPs. I was being forced to pay huge sums of money to. Pratidin. Now, Pratidin is, of course, the newspaper which you are the editor in chief of, and he's detailed not just TMC MPs but also detailed central politicians that he says he was forced to pay. Your reaction to what he's claimed about your involvement? Uh, we had entered into an agreement on. I had told you in the morning also. We had entered into an agreement on 8th September 2010. when i was neither i was a mp nor was mamta banerjee's party in power in that state we had entered into an agreement to, because channel 10 was a news channel at that time it was mm -hmm. being closed and then it was taken up by the sharda group so we entered into an agreement where they paid us 60 lakhs per month and we were in turn required to provide them with editorial support like all the 243 people or 245 were on our payrolls we used to pay them salary including provident fund and all mm -hmm. statutory dues all news covering expenses on everything and you know being a part of a electronic media how costly is it to retain people and to function in this profession sure. so you're so, saying this is a prop and, and you're saying mr this boss this is a professional, professional business being contract because yes because see today There are many people who have joined today. Oppona Shen has tied up with the Sharoda Group to take out a magazine called Poroma. Mm -hmm. So there was, the, and when this happened, it was a long-term deal. But then slowly problems started happening between mm -hmm. us. He was unable to pay checks, bounced, and all this happened. So we, this agreement was called off on 31st May 2012. 